So off of his inspiration, I asked many people to come with me, but only two people were crazy enough, a 19-year-old named Laren and a guy named Bobby, who's 21, who said, I'll go with you to Sudan where there's been a 20-year genocide. And that was the dream, was to just document a genocide. The dream for my <laughs> life at that point was just to make Hollywood musicals like Moulin Rouge and Chicago and Hairspray. That was, yeah, that was the dream. And, and at the time, no one was singing and dancing on television and in the movies. So it seemed pretty um, impossible to achieve that. But so, next logical plan. connection. Yeah, so, exactly. I, can't, I can't do musicals, <laughs> musical so let's theater. do genocide. genocide. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and there's like, yeah, there's not one on Broadway about that. But my point is, um, my Just point joking. is simply that you, you make plans and, and God laughs and says, you're actually going to do this. So, a six month mm. project turned into an eight year journey. Wow. And our hope at Invisible Children is not to guilt you into doing something. Because we don't believe guilt does much except makes you cry and then you give your money and then you feel bad and go to Starbucks, you know? That's, that's what you do. And I mean, I love Starbucks, but the point, is, <laughs> the point is we can have fun while we end genocide. We, it's an adventure. There are so many obstacles and challenges, but we're going to have a blast doing it because we feel like God calls us to be joyful in the work that we're doing no matter what we're doing. And so that's really what we're about and we believe it's our responsibility to tell that story and make sure that 2012 is the year that Joseph Coney comes to justice. So, so Alex, like, yeah. Woo -woo. 